Here it is, guys. We made it. Hi guys, time out to the trail here and I am with Hannah and we are in front of an Appalachian Trail parking area getting ready to hike up to McAfee's Knob. This weekend we are doing the Virginia Triple, Triple Crown loop. So um, it's going to be a challenge. We're going to have perfect weather though. Weather forecast has been like the most perfect we've had since last year. <laughs> since Probably. last year. The challenge is going to be there's going to be some dry places along the trail. But we're prepared and super excited. Super excited. We're starting right off with a steep climb and a lot of stairs. Flashbacks to Heartbreak Ridge on the Foothills Trail. I sprayed my pack and stuff before we left. Burn for my mama. Burn for her. We are exactly one mile in. And we've made it to our first AT shelter. Here we are at the John Spring shelter. Hi. <laughs> Not too bad. Hello, hello. Oh. Come on out. You got stripes. What are you? What are you? Lost your tail. We're about 2.3 miles in. We've made it to the second shelter. It's the Catawba. Catawba shelter. <laughs> Very nice. Mm -hmm. Got a privy in the background. Water source all the way down to under. Picnic down table, fire pit. I mean, it's nice. We have gone 2.6 miles of up, up, and up. <laughs> Up some more. And we're about ready to go up some more. We've got 1.2 before we get to McAfee Knob. I don't know why I'm always so surprised that we just keep going up, up, and up. I mean, we're hiking in the mountains. I would, I think I should know. <laughs> just, you know, it's got to level out at some point. Here it is, guys. We made it. Oh my goodness. I have stared at this scene as the screensaver on my computer for I can't even tell you how long. And it is nothing like what we're seeing right now. Guys, tomorrow we're going to be on one of those mountains over there. Looking back over here. Way over there. Yeah, we're not <laughs> sure exactly where, but... I believe Tinker Cliffs is over there somewhere. It's unbelievable, guys. Truly unbelievable. It's one of those things that you see other people doing this all the time, and you never think you're going to get to do something this epic, and then here you are. And you can't believe it. So that was awesome. Bucket list item. Yep, been wanting to do that for so long. Gotta tell you though, we were sweating like crazy climbing up that mountain, 3.9 miles all the way up. <laughs> and it is freezing up here. Absolutely freezing, I expected it, but dang. So now we have 0.7 miles till we get to the Campbell Shelter and the Pig Farm Campsite. And that will be the end of day one. So the information that I have on this trail says that we're going to be walking through a boulder maze. That's going to be fun. I have a lot of good experiences with boulders. At least I won't be jumping them. I better not have to jump one. <laughs> yeah. Just a little further down past the iconic photo spot. Better view of those wavy mountains over there. 
I'm so glad that we can actually get the views. So many times I know that people come up here and it's all fogged over. Mm -hmm. Our first green tunnel on the AT. It's pretty cool actually. We're not sure what this stuff is. We think it might be mountain laurel, but it's pretty. Little white flowers. Look at that. Aw, just little baby ones. Very cool. Um, I'm digging this boulder maze. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to camp. It's dinner time. Dinner time, food's cooking and rehydrating and got water on for hot chocolate because it is cold. It is cold. <laughs> oh, I mean, I've been in colder conditions. This isn't, isn't the worst, but it's cold. So we believe this is the pig farm campsite. We walked until we seen a sign that said campsite and there were other people here. <laughs> <laughs> and we so just plopped our buds down. We did, we're like, oh, there's a spot. It's home for the night. You got neighbors. <laughs> But we're set up, got the tent set up back there. Basically crap strung everywhere, but we're gonna eat before it gets too dark and get the food and stuff put down into the bear box. And um, yeah, we're gonna do like the true hiker midnight thing and yeah. go to bed immediately yeah. after yeah. <laughs> for basically just to get warm inside the sleeping bag. <laughs> it's been fun. First day's been beautiful. It's been a good day. It has been a good day. And tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny all day long. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, dinner time. I have Ready Wise creamy pasta and chicken tonight. Tastes pretty daggone good, can't lie. What you got, Hannah? I have Trailtopia chili mac with beef. Mm, if, it ever, if it ever gets done. <laughs> Taking a little, a little while to rehydrate things, a little longer than what it said it would. But got the puffy on, it's getting cold, yep but it's almost time. You can see it's getting dark. I don't know if you can see like off in the distance though, there's lights. We're not sure what city that is. I'm thinking it might be Roanoke. I mean, I know we're close to it. And it looks like it's a pretty big city. So I would say maybe. All right, guys, end of day one. We went, I don't know, like four and a half miles or so today. Three and a half to five, yeah. Not too bad. We have a big day tomorrow. I'm not sure. I think tomorrow might be our 13 mile day, but the information I found is showing different mileage than what the signs here are showing. So maybe we'll get lucky and it won't be as big of a day after all. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> We're both hoping? Yeah. Um, gosh, we finished later than what I thought. Like I thought we'd be like done eating and everything packed away before it got dark and it was not. We had to go find the bear box in the dark, but it was worth it. I'm so happy there's a bear box and we didn't have to hang tonight. We will have to hang later, but it was great. Um, a lot of people here at the campsite, so we don't want to be too loud. It was a great first day, and thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>